Hello everybody and welcome to another trading card unboxing video. This time we have a Pokemon trading card game. Pokemon Go Special Collection Team Instinct Box. I, I had went on a trip to Toronto with a sole mission of finding two specific uh, Pokemon Go expansion boxes. I found both the ones I wanted and this was one of them because in Pokemon Go, I am a member of Team Instinct. And I had chosen Team Instinct because Pokemon Yellow was, to my knowledge, the first Pokemon game that I ever played. So, with that in mind, I had to get the Team Instinct box with a special exclusive uh, Trainer Supporter Spark card that you get in here. And you get six booster packs of, I believe, it says 10 additional cards, so 60 cards here. Uh, I do know about the secret Ditto cards, and I'm hoping to get uh, at least one of those in one of these two boxes. Another cool thing is you get the uh, Team Instinct badge, which I might actually wear when I go out for like community days and stuff. But let us get this opened up. Where can I open this while doing the least amount of damage? I guess the side here. I don't normally keep these boxes, but every now and again, they're nice to like try and display with uh, with the tins that I've collected through the years. So let's see if I can open this nicely. Oh, adventure awaits in Pokemon Go. Oh, it looks like whenever you buy like a Pokemon Go expansion. Uh, you actually get a whole bunch of codes for a bunch of different rewards in Pokemon Go. I'm not gonna put them on camera, but there's one, two, three, four, five, six... I think that's just six, uh, codes here. Might be seven, uh, cause there's a weird thing there, but regardless, there's, uh, there's some nice codes for some, co uh, for some rewards in Pokemon Go. I'll definitely use that. So, you got your nice little box there. Very, very, very pretty little background in and of itself, actually. So I really might actually consider keeping this box. Just put that to the side for now, though, because we've got to get this open. Alrighty. So, right off the bat, we have our Trainer Supporter Spark, and this is one of the uh, Sword and Shield uh, Black Star promo cards. It's not actually in the same line as Pokemon Go cards, but because, uh, that little Pokemon Go symbol there, you know it's, it was released during that time. It's also a textured card, so very, very nice. Alrighty. And then we also have our pin, which does look very, very nice, I must say. Very nice shine on that. I do think I might actually wear this whenever I do uh, community days. And even though I'm not like a member of the other teams, uh, I might actually buy the other packs as well, just because I really actually like these badges. So, what we're all really here for, though... Oh, and there is a code card, actually, in these. Uh, I won't show the code, because I'm going to use, use it for myself. But I wasn't aware that you actually got a code card. So, we have six packs here, all with ten cards. Again, really hoping to get at least one of those dittos. Would be really nice to get a Mewtwo as well. But there's only one way of finding out, and that is by starting to open them. So, we're not going in any particular order, because they're all the same packs. Uh, and I do believe these follow the same one, two, three, four pattern, you know, from going from the back of the pack to the front. So you have your most special card at the very end. There we go. Have a code card as usual, which I will put to the side. But, like I said, I do believe these also have the one, two, three, four. And flip. And we should be correct, because I believe this is a Brilliant Stars uh, version of the Water Energy. They had released a new artwork, and I do believe that that is the specific artwork for that. So, very nice. First off, we have a Uncommon Charmeleon. An Uncommon Pupitar. An Uncommon War Turtle. Whoops. Uh, a common Nummel, 
A common Alolan Raticate. A common Tranquil. A common Larvitar. You know what I also really like about these? I wasn't 100% uh, certain when they had announced them, but they don't seem to be reprints. These seem to be original art for this expansion, and I was worried that they were just going to be reprints with the Pokemon Go sticker on them. Or, you know, I actually also expected when I saw this coming out that maybe it was just like snapshots of their art in Pokemon Go, but I very much like that it seems to be unique ex art for this expansion. Continuing on, we have a a common Natu. We have a very nice uncommon reverse hollow Lunatone. And let's see what our final card in this pack is. Oh my god! I'm trying to be quiet because my sister is sleeping downstairs at the moment, but I did not expect this at the very first pack. We have a rainbow, rainbow, rainbow full art Mewtwo V-Star card. Or is that full art? I think that it still call, classifies as full art. Nice texture on that. Oh my god, first pack and we have a rainbow art card. Beauty, and it, it, it had to be Mewtwo as well. Perfect. That, that couldn't have gone better for our very first pack, literally. So, five packs left. Still hoping for uh, one of the dittos, but I am more than happy to have gotten a rainbow you two for my very first pack. We got a code card. And then one, two, three, four. Starting off, we have a grass energy. We have an uncommon soul rock. An uncommon trainer supporter spark. An uncommon chancy. Oh, whoops. Uh, we have a common Spinarak, and I do believe this is one of the cards that could end up being Ditto, but what you have to pay attention for for the Ditto cards is you'll notice all of the cards have that set symbol there. If it's Ditto, that's actually a Ditto symbol instead. So this is just a normal Spinarak here. Uh, we have a common Alolan Rattata. A common Wimpod. A very, very cute common Pikachu. I'm really hoping uh, that I end up finding the tins eventually as well. I did see a couple, but I was hoping to just find those boxes, and that was my goal of buying them. But I do want the Pikachu that's carrying like the present that you can send to friends, because that's that's really cute. Uh, but common Pikachu, common Squirtle, reverse hollow common Larvitar, and I highly doubt that we could do better than that Mewtwo, but let's see what our final card of this pack is. Ooh, it is very nice, though. We have a Hollow Rare Gyarados. Very, very nice shine on that. Very, very good. But, like I said, not as great as the Mewtwo, obviously, but I don't expect in, like, the rest of these four packs here that we'll even find something as good as that. Still hoping for a Ditto, though. That would be good to find. Right, let's open up our next pack. side, we've got a co uh, code card, and then one, two, three, four. First off, we have a fighting type energy. Again, I do believe these are the brilliant stars uh, type energies, which I still do collect the uh, different energies, so always good to have more. Uh, we have a trainer supporter Blanche, uncommon. Very nice to get uh, the team leaders as well. Especially since, you know, we have our exclusive spark, so it's still cool to have each of the leaders. I'm kind of surprised. I don't know if they ever uh, announced that they were including Team Go Rocket in, in this expansion, which I get it. We have Team Rocket cards, but it would be cool to have that just little difference of Team Go Rocket for this expansion as well. Even if it's Giovanni from Team Rocket, you know. Uh, next up, we have Uncommon Ivysaur. We have an uncommon trainer item egg incubator. Very, very cool. And it's not even the the default one that you have infinites. It's actually the one where you get to use three times. We have a common squirtle. Oh, very cool. We have the common Meltan, which 
people who don't play Pokemon Go don't usually know, this is the this and its evolution are the only two Pokemon to be exclusive, like exclusively created from Pokemon Go. Yes, there's technically the Spindas, which follow a different pattern form, but as for a brand new Pokemon in and of itself, this was created in Pokemon Go. Uh, next up we have a common Bidoof. We have a common Magikarp, goes very nicely with our uh, Gyarados that we got earlier. Next up, we have a common P-Dove. Oh, perfect! We got the Meltan, and now we have a very, very nice Reverse Hollow Rare Mel Metal. Very, very cool. And the final card of this pack. Oh, not as good as a Rainbow Mewtwo, but it's a V card. Very, very cool. So full art v Slacking V. Slacking is uh, one of my mom's favorite Pokemon. I'm not 100% I'm not certain why, but she, she just loves to put him in the gyms. I guess maybe because he's got a high CP, but very, very cool to get a, a nice V card in that too. All right, we've got, what, three more packs now? We've got some really nice hits off of these, so let's, let's see if we can continue getting some really good cards here. Code card to the side. All right, one, two, three, four. All right, we have a darkness energy. I really like that we're getting uh, different energies in each pack because, again, like I said, I do collect all of them, so it's always good to have extras of different ones too. And next up, we have an uncommon Slowbro. We have an uncommon Lunatone. Uh, uncommon Ivysaur. And you know what, it's, it's, even though I've seen this card a few times, this is the first time I notice there's a Pokestop on this card. Very cute, like obviously we've got the Pokemon Go logo here, but very cute way to distinctly make it, this is from Pokemon Go, by just having the simple Pokestops. Which, actually, on closer inspection, seems to have a lure activated, and that's why you see some of the grass, and perhaps it's even a mossy lure. Very cool. Uh, next up, we have a common Alolan Raticate. A common Tranquil. A common Larvitar. A common Natu. Common Ambipom. Oh, beauty! A common Reverse Hollow Eevee. And it's simply a beauty because I love all the evolutions. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say Eevee is my favorite Pokemon because I'd have to probably give that to Sylveon and Espeon. But the fact that Eevee evolves into so many different things, I've just, I've always loved Eevee. All right, very cool. But the final card of this pack. Oh, very, very nice. We have a Pikachu, uh, and it's a rare hollow Pikachu. And I do believe that this was the specific Pikachu that in Pokemon Go, it was released when this collab was announced. You can tell by its hat that it has uh, the trading cards on that logo, and I'm pretty sure that was released in the game when Pokemon Go announced, hey, there's going to be an expansion for Pokemon Go soon. Very, very cool to have, again, something unique to Pokemon Go in the trading card game. We've got two packs left. Let's see what else we've got. Code card to the side. One, two, three, four. First up, we have a Grass Energy. An Uncommon Chansey. An uncommon soul rock, an uncommon area dose, oh, oops, a common onyx, a common EV, very cool. Now we have the reverse hollow and the normal version of the card. We have a common Charmander, a common Apom, a common Bulbasaur. A very nice Reverse Hollow Uncommon Steelix. And the final card of this pack is a very nice Hollow Rare Lapras. Very, very cool. Still haven't encountered a single one of the Dittos. I don't believe I've seen Ditto up here in the symbols. Just checking real quick in case I somehow missed it. Because that is a, another thing that I'm really hoping to get 
in, uh, in at least one of the packs that we opened today. I have a second video that's going to be recorded after this one. Again, my mission was to find two specific uh, boxes for Pokemon Go cards. So, perhaps in the next video, we'll get that ditto. But we have one pack left. Let us see what our final pack for the Team Instinct box is. Put a code card to the side. And one, two, three, four. All right, first up we have a lightning energy. Then we have an uncommon Blanche. We have an uncommon Steelix. Again, very nice to have the normal and the reverse hollow. Uh, then we have an uncommon War Tortle. A common Eevee. A common Charmander. Common a palm, a common Bulbasaur, a common Nummel, a very nice reverse hollow common Bulbasaur, so we definitely have both of those cards now. And the final card of the Team Instinct box is, oh, a very, very nice hollow rare Venusaur. We've got the entire evolution of Bulbasaur from Pokemon Go. Very, very nice. But very obvious, uh, the best hit we had in this whole box is our Rainbow Mewtwo. Beauty, absolute beauty of a card. Can't believe we got that from the first pack that we opened. Absolutely love to see it. But the really cool thing for me for opening these, and I, I love when new expansions comes out, is I haven't opened a single Pokemon Go pack before. So all of these cards are brand new to me. There's, there's some duplicates, you know, from opening up these packs, but this is the first ever time that I open up Pokemon Go packs, so I was guaranteed to get a lot of cards that I do not have, and I love getting to do that. So, with that being said, what was it, uh, what was it called? Just the, the Special Collection Team Instinct Pokemon Go box. That was all that this box has to offer. Very cool that we've got some codes for Pokemon Go in and of itself. Definitely got some real good hits off of this box. Uh, and again, probably wear, wear this maybe even in future videos for the Pokemon Go boxes. But that is it for now. Uh, I do have another video that I'm literally going to be recording right after this. So, for that being said, thank you all very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.